On this problem number 16, it is to find the volume of the object that is generated by rotating the given rectangle around the x-axis. So really we have two problems here. First we have this rectangle going around the x-axis. Okay, And in that case, it's just a standard cylinder if you will, that is going to have a radius of 7 and the volume of a cylinder, as a reminder, is pi r squared h. So since we have, in that case, we'd have pi times 7 squared and the height of it is 5. So what's that? 49 times 5. So 49 times 5, yeah, I think it's 245. So we have 245 pi. Now the second one is a little bit more interesting. We're rotating this rectangle around the x-axis. And if I mirror that rectangle down below the x-axis. What I'm going to find is that where I'm drawing the blue here, this part would actually be hollow. Whereas the part of the actual I should probably change colors here. rid of that blue one. Okay. Um, when I have the rectangle that I was given rotated, I'm getting a another cylinder, but that cylinder, if you will, is hollow in the mid middle. So I have I have some a solid part. It's like a bowl, if you will. Um, if you took a soda can and made the can itself a lot thicker, um, you have the empty part, which is where the soda itself goes, but then you have the can that holds it. So we have a hollow section, and then we have the part that we're actually trying to find the volume of is the can, if you will. So, in order to find the second problem here, so that goes to this one. The second one, I need to do the volume of the large cylinder. Minus the volume of the small cylinder. So the large one well, it had a, has a radius, and its radius goes all the way from the x-axis up to the highest point. So the large one has a radius of 9. So I have pi times 9 squared, and its height would be 5. The little one, the inside one, if you will, well, that has a radius of 2. So the hollow part has a radius of 2. So we're going to subtract off pi times 2 squared. It, too, has a height of 5. Now, I keep saying height. you got to think about this cylinder as being on its side, if you will, like the can is rolling on the ground. So if you do that computation, I think you get uh, 405 pi minus 20 pi, which is 385. 